Welcome back. This is Matthew from NGG Canada. Welcome to part seven of Starfield. This is your first time back to our channel. Please subscribe and like, and let's do this. Part seven, game on. Thank you so much to all our subscribers. Enjoy the level. Landing struts primed, retros firing. Smell that? Construction, part of the power incense, system. industrial Lightning chemicals of every kind. But they still energy. can't get rid of the... A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source has far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazimbas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Checkpoint again. Let's let them do their job so we can move them off. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of neon's energy. Cut the act. Snippers picked up the aurora you're carrying the second you step. In. All right. Benjamin Bayou's Tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else it is, but it's big. <laughs> the Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? The Star Yard of the Future. 
This is where quality ships are made. And I don't just say that because it's Stroud's business. It's all right. It's just true. to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bus you in, sir. You know me, Mr. Stroud? You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am. No. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar, what's motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place.
Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Seeger. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seeger makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Rather be paid now. Sorry, but I can't. Eh, done talking. Not getting more from me about any of this. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Get lost, I have a job to do. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course.
And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you. If you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Enjoy the lounge. Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. You can handle this system. I'm sure of it.
see I'm sure my tank is coming. They're all off studying and ain't that the truth? Watch it!
any luck out there. To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Slayton Aerospace Service pin. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder. Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Until next time. was stronger than I thought. That's what you said two drinks ago. Maybe you should slow down. Excuse me. <laughs> you gotta stay hydrated.
How'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? Hmm? That's right. The Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job, and you look like someone who could use a great ship's cook. What do you say? Bummer. Who knew cooking was such an unmarketable skill? Hmm. Maybe I could help out somewhere else. I got plenty of other skills, and I'm not afraid to use them. Well, I'm hard to kill, I'll tell you that much. I'm all right in the wilderness, too. Due to some unfortunate circumstances, I've had to get good at roughing it. I throw an all right punch, too. Make it long to journalism. Look at you, making my day. There's just one more thing I'd like to discuss. Uh, my salary. The New Atlantean paid their top talent well. I'm used to a certain lifestyle. Hmm. I'm not usually one to bargain. You don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing to talk about. I've already made myself clear. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. But you seem like a good kid. And I'm getting sick of the food here. I'll work for your lower rate. Then it sounds like we have a deal, boss. Ha! You'll love having me around. I'm gonna take... <laughs> this place is insane! What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Let's talk. You have time. just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Kelcorp? She's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. 
Honestly, I kind of tuned her out. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. You said you would sit, so sit. You would sit, so sit. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> Down? 
I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. That's smart. Trust in things that are capable of trusting you. You know, I like to be optimistic too. Sometimes people take advantage of it. But that's on them, not me. I guess that's a reason why I feel comfortable in Constellation. Trust is foundational. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made, and anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit.
right to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing is all yours. Well done. So, high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Same here. This is gonna be fun! Neon security! Oh. Stop your weapon! Hey, whoa! Oh. I'll do this in... Again soon, right? The Astral Lounge. Curious about getting the artifact. Off the planet quickly. Security's got his eyes on Saburo Okadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo, if you know what I mean. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He squeezed a few pawns. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby. Shall we see if we can make an appointment?
Those for room selects live in space or got separated. Hoping to get a meeting? Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I hear you. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. You have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait, this clearly is your executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight your way to the exit.
Sure. I've got a minute. Uh-huh. Listen for Issa's cues. We will get out. You're doing Constellation proud. if we leave a few things here and make a second trip.
Keep on your toes. Security is... Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Anything I can help you with, Cap? Mm-hmm. Oh, pardon me. See you later.
like the trade power? Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> mm. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, opportunity to tell him yourself shortly. Let the thief go with a sternly worded warning or get the authorities involved. Up to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. Oh no, you. 
Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. place look cleaner than before? Huh. Nah. Hey. How you doing, Sweet Pea? Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better if... A deal with a man who <laughs> wants this day. I mean, yes, he'd be a lot better if I you had a bigger book. Around. Call that a win. <laughs> what do you think? You know me so well, Dad. So, 
What I do you agree. say? This life suits both of us, don't you think? Way easier than retrieving an artifact from a mine that's about to get raided by pirates. But I feel like we made more friends the other way. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. send you our resumes. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. that is shared by my kind about you. We're not the ones making threats. Your moral grandstanding is hollow, as is your position. Make up your mind, or we will act. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance.
I have something for you. Hey, so I thought you might like this. I hope you do. I had almost forgotten I picked it up for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. I almost didn't pick it up, but then I thought you might have a good use for it. Whew, glad I did. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. Call themselves the Star Lord. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they will. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Could we talk? As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Stay safe, okay? Since I got so here, much time looking this is at the scans. Like These I people are star down. systems orbiting I hope it feels that head. way for you too. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there. 
the eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. All right, we're going to end part seven here. We'll be back with part eight. Thank you so much for watching.